Assalamu alaikum. This is Fatima Barkatullah and this is my story about how to achieve what seems impossible. 16 years ago, when my son was born, my dream was for him to memorize the Quran. The problem was that we lived in northwest London in an area with no Quran teachers, no Hifth classes, and I myself was not a Hafidah of Quran. We also couldn't move to an area where there were. The prospects of achieving my goal looked very bleak. Maybe I was being too ambitious. Maybe the goal was too difficult or even impossible to achieve in my situation. I dreamt of moving to a Muslim country with a perfect environment and a perfect teacher and a perfect masjid and a perfect class that would usher my son to hifth success. But then I realized nothing was too difficult for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to somehow make it happen, right? So I made dua. Oh Allah, you know my dream, my intention to make my son a carrier of Quran. I can't see how I will achieve this, but nothing is too difficult for you. So somehow let us be able to achieve our goal. Ameen. Once I had made dua, I took action and decided to take my son as far as I could take him with the knowledge and resources that I had at my fingertips. So by the age of six, he had memorized the last juz of Quran and he had read the Quran from cover to cover by reading with me at home. So I built the foundations. Now he was ready to go to the next stage, but there didn't seem to be any way to take him to the next level. So I got resourceful and I made a list of every possible resource or person I could call upon for information or help to help us achieve our goal. I phoned and emailed every contact I thought might know some Quran teachers or have some leads and I spoke to each of them passionately about my dream. Then I contacted every mosque in our vicinity to ask them. Everyone was supportive of my goal, but no one had any real solution they could offer. Eventually, one person did get back to me and say that they knew an experienced Hifth teacher, but that he lived an hour's drive from our house and we'd have to take our son to him for tuition. Taking my son there after school each day and then bringing him back would be no mean feat. It was utterly exhausting for us and our son would fall asleep on the way there only to have to wake up to the second shift of his education that day. But we pushed through that tough time. We spent money, we spent time, energy and effort and showed Allah how serious we were about achieving our goal. Our son began to thrive in his memorization but the whole process began to take its toll on our family. One day, my husband had had enough. It was all too much. Our day was being spent in hours of traffic. We were trying to manage all of our roles and care for our other children's needs as well. And things began to look bleak. Giving up looked like a very attractive option. Maybe we should just let him memorize when he grows up. He's done enough for now. But we decided failure was not an option. And maybe it was just a case of having to change our strategy to achieve our goal. My husband went into the local mosque and convinced them to start a Quran Hifth class. The mosque imam said that they had been thinking of starting one but had been waiting for the right time. Seeing how far my son had already come and that he would be their first student motivated them to take the plunge and start a small Hifth class. Alhamdulillah. After the hardship came the ease. My son has since completed his hifth, alhamdulillah, and the mosque has asked him to lead some of the taraweeh prayers during Ramadan. Through achieving our goal, I learned that I could use the same eight key processes to achieve anything else I really wanted to. And you can do so too. Number one, make sincere dua. Number two, take positive action. Number three, build the foundations as far as you can with the knowledge that you have. Number four, be resourceful. Number five, push through the tough times. Number six, show Allah how serious you really are. Number seven, make failure not an option. And number eight, be willing to change your strategy along the way. Inshallah, after the hardship will come the ease and you will achieve what seems impossible.